My name is Anna. I am a PhD student here at Chelsea at the final stages of my practice-based research. My uh, PhD is about copying the work of other artists with permission. I selected four artists, Andrew Bick, Frank Bowling and two female artists who refused my proposal of copying their work. They are all artists from different generations, painting backgrounds and genders. I am not uh, as interested in the copying it itself, but uh, in the relationship that I have with the artist and how that impacts the making of the copy and the status of the copy and the original. This painting is the copy of Lens by Frank Bowling. In 2018, I asked Frank Bowling if I could copy his work and he said yes. I had a meeting with him and he gave me an image of the original painting for me to copy. The original painting was made in 1963 and it has to do with the, with the uh, missile crisis. And then we had an interview where I asked him about the process of copying the work. I asked him about the process, um, how he started, what materials he used. There were things that he could remember, of course, but because he did this in 1963, uh, there are a few things that he obviously couldn't. My aim was to do a very close copy of the original work. He was uh, interested in my own way of making the copy that was necessarily exact to the original work. The original painting disappeared in uh, late 1970s, beginning of 1980s, so there isn't the original work. So that's why Frank Bolding gave me an image, one of the very few images of the painting that he had. So even, even in the beginning, I started working on Frank's studio. So he would sometimes come to the studio and see the painting and uh, make, say, yes, you know, you got the right material, that's exactly what I did, or mm, maybe not, try something else. This painting is a collaboration in a sense with Frank. There was more collaboration mainly in the beginning, when I was starting, where to get uh, stretchers from, where to get canvas from, because I was trying to get very close to the original work. Um, and then like the last year, I've just been, it just has been more an, an autonomous uh, process for me. And I've been trying to understand my own relationship with the original work and how to make sense of it. What I understood that was important for Frank with this painting is, was that he wanted, to, he wanted me to enjoy making the painting. And also, as an artist, I wanted to do not just a copy, but I wanted to do a good painting. So I was trying to um, understand how Frank might have, have painted the, the original work, but also understand how I could own it. It is also important for me to negotiate what's going to happen with the copy after it's finished. Uh, and so I draft an agreement with the artists to understand their position in relation to the copy. For example, with Frank, with Frank the, we're still negotiating who the author is. In the beginning, we had decided that the author would be half-half, but Probably he's going to be just me, but then Frank would have control over the actual copy. The copy is going to his own uh, storage. When I received the email, I was a bit freaked out <laughs> because, <laughs> because I've been doing this painting three, for three years and I put a lot of um, efforts and time and energy that it feels that is very mine. Uh, so for me, it was, I feel quite emotional in the sense that I, I would have to see the painting go. And probably I won't see the painting ever again. I don't know. But on the other hand, it, it means also that Frank likes the painting and, and that he embraces the painting. Or it also might be a way of uh, controlling the painting. Maybe he actually hates the painting and keeping it storage is a way of not showing it again.